Oh, I think I'm missing something. 6,000 zenny, that, that was a nice thing to go back and get. <laughs> okay, just have to be patient up here. Why make things more trouble than we have to? Now we can get out of here. Using Ms. Yuri's memo. Thus, we're in net area number seven. And we're still not done. Whoa, spooky three. Can I have Invis 3, please? No, no, I can't, but I can have Recover 200. Lovely. Okay, uh... I can at least get rid of one of them. And recover 150. Well, they're stingy about handing out the invisibility chips, but they do certainly like to give me plenty of uh, recoveries. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. Off on this tangled little path of the net. More mystery data. Thousand zenny. Money is always nice since I have some shopping to do at some point. Oh, man. I bother doing that? Why did I bother reducing his health? Fireman would have killed him in one hit. I have no idea why I did that, why I suddenly uh, thought Fireman 3 did 140. Uh, where's my brain tonight? It's too late, obviously I should not be playing this right now. Okay, so we got Paul's memo and we can get further onto the net. I think we're finally in deep enough. Ah! Okay, I know what it is. I was thinking of the damage that Wood Tower does. Case in point. Now die in your stone form. Or iron form, since apparently it's iron body. I could have sworn it was stone body. That must be in a different game, because I know there is a chip by that name. You again, huh? Invis 3, please? And again you tell me no, that's mean. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting to see you guys, but hey, you're... You're the perfect target for elect, man. Elect man upon use zaps all enemies with lightning. So we get straight into the point. Whoa, ten grand. Very nice. I'll take it. Uh, Gaia will be tedious, but at least I don't have to worry about bombs. Man, I wish this game had break.
We can forgive them. It was their first game. They didn't know what they were doing yet. Stop hammer time. They keep wanting to give me this combination. Come on, sooner or later you've got to cough up an Invis 3. And yet, not today. Oh, man. Okay, come on, something? Oh, Zenny, alright. I'm pretty much broke, so that's rather nice. Rat on 1D. I won't finish him off, but at least it's a nice start toward it. Okay, moving on. Well, hello there. You also seem to like NetSpeak. Meet Bond Man. Like Stone Man, he works for the World 3 and is an independent Navi with no operator. He's guarding the World 3 address. Bomb Man is a bit of an anomaly. His attack counts as heat element, but I'm not sure if he himself does. That is to say, I don't know if aqua element attacks do double damage to him or not. Basically, this guy likes to play soccer with bombs. And once they land, they explode in a kind of a Bomberman fashion, really. They have a cross pattern, they, uh, they can set each other off, everything. Once again, I'm pretty sure Fireman actually cannot hit the bombs himself. Thank goodness for piercing abilities there. Now, were Bomb Man to just stick to this, he'd be fine, but he can also set landmines. Such as he's doing now. I believe it's in the center. Of course, I can just play Invisible Minesweeper, which seems like a good idea, actually. The middle it was. Are you gonna set another one? Down in the corner. Another one? And my invisibility ran off. Or ran out, that is. Not ran off. Okay. Yeah, it's about time to end this show. So saith Fireman. After all, the original Bomb Man was weak to Fireman's ability, so hey, <laughs> that seems a fitting way to end this. Bomb Man is gone, and we got the World 3 server address. Unfortunately, Bomb Man's setting a net bomb. And he destroyed the link. So we can't get there from here. But we do have the address, at least. It's something we can take to Dad. He'll know what to do. So, off to the government complex. Just 
just hope Dad's at home this time.